Hi guys, it's Razan. I'm currently a third year civil and environmental engineering student at UWE and I would like to talk to you today about my course, everything I like about it, and some of the challenges that I've been through. So what do civil engineers do and what do environmental engineers do? Civil engineers manage our air, water, energy resources and help protect society from natural catastrophes such as um, hurricanes, volcanoes, um, earthquakes, whereas an environmental engineer helps, uh, helps implement sustainable designs that help and protect the environment and its resources. So why do I want to be a civil engineer and why do I want to be an environmental engineer? Civil engineers get to be there throughout an entire project and see a project come to life. They're there through the design process, the implementation process, and all the way to the maintenance process years later. Whereas environmental engineers are more environmental friendly with their designs, with their implementations. And I, w I really want to be part of an engineering community that's helped make the environment uh, just better. Um, they do not destroy it. They help reduce wastes instead of increasing it. And that's just something that I really want to be part of since it's a greener type of engineering, if, you, if that's what you want to call it. Um, another thing is studying uh, civil and environmental engineering in university is more hands-on. You get to be more technical with things, you get to do more maths, but you do the proper mathematics behind it. You get to design things using the mathematics you learn instead of just going into an exam and doing your maths. Um, you get to build things, you get to learn. For example, I, did, uh, I built a bridge in my first year and my second year um, we've constructed a pair of stairs whereas other people have uh, worked on roads and it's things like these that actually excite me about my course because of because uh, of how hands-on it is. Um, another thing is with civil engineering and environmental engineering, um, as a postgraduate, I get to have more options to study as my master's because I could even go into construction law, I could go into project management, I could even be a quantity surveyor, and the options are just endless as a civil and environmental engineer. What I love about my course is the students. We have international students, we have students from the UK, and they all have the same goal. It's nice to know that these students are aiming for the same thing that I'm aiming, and some of them even have the same beliefs that I believe in. And it's things like that actually um, allows me to be more sociable in a sense. I do not necessarily know everyone on my course, yet I still manage to feel confident enough to go up to someone and say hi, ask them a few questions. Everyone is just helpful. You do not necessarily have to know anyone. You could just expect making new friends every day. So as much as I love my course, I have gone through obstacles. I'm not gonna lie. Some of them is that I tend to forget the basics and that's because um, the course just keeps on building up and building up on the mathematics and the theories and as much as I understand what's going on, I forget the basics and I just have to go back, go through it again and study it. So it's really important and essential for you to go through your notes, you keep on revising because if you do not have that consistent revision, you just end up lost. And the amount of assignments that you get, as I said, civil and environmental engineering is more of a hands-on course. So you could expect a lot of courseworks. Um, for my second year, I had courseworks every week and every other week at one point for my entire second semester. And even all the way after my exams, I still had deadlines. And you could expect something like that because it is more of a hands-on uh, course as I have said that does not mean it's not fun you actually get into the groove of it once you actually stick into revising reading your lectures doing all the necessary revision and you'll be fine
After finishing my undergraduate studies, I'm planning to do my master's. I still haven't decided what I'm doing my master's on, but I have two options and that's my construction law master degree or my project management degree. Um, I want to do construction law because construction law is more of a different kind of road, I'd say. Um, I'm just going at a different direction in a sense. I still get to do civil and uh, civil and environmental engineering work, but I get to have a mixture of construction law work. I get to do I get to see the law behind engineering and that seems fun for me. It seems different. Whereas I want to do project management because it's more of your, uh, you have to be more organized, you're more involved in a project. You ensure that the project is running smoothly and that the tasks are done in time. And that is always, that has always been my first option until I have learned about construction law. So I still haven't made up my mind. So, if you want to be a civil and environmental engineering student, I definitely recommend it if you're looking for an exciting place to work in, if you're looking to have a more practical and hands-on experience, if you're looking for more job opportunities, uh, a high-paying job, if you're looking for many... Um, uh, postgraduate um, options if you don't just want to be stuck to a few civil and environmental engineering gives you that opportunity that's it with today's video on my course I hope I gave you a little bit of an insight on how my course works um, the types of students that you could expect what do civil and environmental engineers do and the kind of options that you're gonna have after graduating from your undergraduates and you're looking for postgraduate studies.